and welcome to Mates and I Department. This video is to help you understand what cataract is and the journey through a cataract operation. Your doctor may have already listed you for the operation to be done. Here at Mates, Stone in Tunbridge Wells, we undertake up to 6,000 cataract operations a year, making us one of the largest eye departments in South East England. Here are some of our dedicated staff to explain what the procedure is in the aftercare. Cataract can occur due to a number of factors, but it is commonly related to age. The natural lens becomes cloudy and reduces the amount of light entering the eye. Patients often complain of blurry vision, haziness or glare, which may affect activities such as driving, watching TV or reading, all of which may have a significant effect on the patient's quality of life. Cataract surgery involves removing the opaque or cloudy parts of the lens and replacing it with an artificial lens. In the majority of cases, this significantly improves the vision and many patients find that they don't require glasses for their distance and only require them for reading. It is important to inform the doctor if you've had any laser treatment to correct long-sightedness or short-sightedness in the past. Cataract surgery is a very successful procedure, however complications can arise for which you as the patient must be made aware of. These include infection after the operation or bleeding during the operation. Both of these unfortunate events can have a risk of blindness which is in the region of 1 in 1,000, that is less than 1%. The new lens implant is supported by a capsule within the eye which keeps it in place. If the capsule splits during the operation, the cataract can fall to the back of the eye. In this circumstance, a further operation would need to be undertaken at a later date. Occasionally we might find that a capsule is split after we've removed the cataract. In this case, we can still implant the new lens. In both scenarios, the visual outcome is still very good. However, the recovery time may be longer. It is important that you do inform the doctors and the pre-assessment nurse of any pre-existing conditions which are affecting the eye or your general health, including your current medication. Both of these factors can affect the complexity and the prognosis of your procedure. Hello, my name's Sheila and I'm the nurse in charge for the eye daycare unit at Maidstone Hospital. This is where you book in for your preoperative assessment or your cataract surgery. On the day of surgery, you will be asked to arrive at half past seven in the morning for morning surgery or half past 12 for afternoon surgery. This is your admission time, the receptionist will check some details with you and they will take a contact number so we can contact your relatives or your transport when you are ready to go home. For patients who have special needs, your relative or carer may be able to escort you onto the day unit with the permission of the nurse in charge. You will be taken to the day unit where the nurses will admit you, they will check your blood pressure and your pulse and diabetic patients will have their blood sugar checked so we can monitor you throughout your stay with us. The doctor will come to see you and ask you to sign your consent form. This is your opportunity to ask any last minute questions. The doctor will place a mark on your forehead to indicate which eye we are operating on. The nurses will give you some eye drops to enlarge your pupils ready for your surgery. The doctors will have several patients on their operating list. After they have seen all of you, they will prioritise the list and then it will just be a matter of waiting for your turn to go into theatre. This does mean that some patients will have to wait longer than others. A member of the theatre team will come from theatre to collect you and check you with the ward nurse and take you to theatre, where you will have more eye drops to numb your eye. After the surgery, the nurses will offer you a well-deserved cup of tea or coffee with biscuits. If you have any pain, please let the nurse know and she can give you some simple pain relief. However, most patients don't have any pain at all. After the operation, you will have an eye patch or a shield over your eye. This should remain in place until the following morning.
the nurse will check your blood pressure and pulse and contact your relatives to come to collect you. Some of the medication will come from the main pharmacy department and this may take a little longer to arrive. When your eye drops are ready, the nurse will come across to discharge you. They will explain aftercare, how to look after your eye, how to give your eye drops, when you can get back to your normal activities and when you will need to come back for a checkup. We will give you some information in writing so you don't forget anything we've told you. I hope this information video has been very helpful and that your experience at Mason and Tunbridge Wells will be a pleasant one. Do provide us with feedback so we can continually improve our service. Thank you for listening and goodbye.